7.15 is the timer. Uh, we're talking sports this morning. The Duke Blue Devils, hey, they are college basketball's newest champions. They won it all last night. The team led by MVP Tice Jones riding a second-half comeback to victory in last night's final game of the college basketball season. They beat the Wisconsin Badgers 68-63. to It was not a cakewalk if you missed the game. Freshman guard Grayson Allen, one of four freshmen on that squad, the unlikely hero last night. Very happy right there. Coach Mike Krzyzewski also very happy. Allen had 16 points when the team's superstar, Jaleel Okafor, ran into foul trouble. My, my team had great grit and determination, and, uh, and our, our defense down the stretch was magnificent. Um, just, just believing in one another, believing in coach and everything that you know, they're telling us, you know, because you know, we knew at the end if we did accomplish this, it was, it was all going to be you worth know, it. This group has talked about this moment since the beginning of the year, um, but saying it and actually getting it done are two completely different things, and it's been a tough road. So uh, to be here and to be able to do it with this group of guys is so amazing. And here's one of the overlooked facts. Um, by the way, I like those vintage hats they were wearing. Uh, Shashevsky has now won five uh, NCAA championships behind uh, UCLA great John Wooden. But all these students have won just one. So this is really something extremely special for them. We'll take you back to North Carolina, Durham, North Carolina, specifically the Duke campus. Uh, quite the blaze burning last night on the uh, quadrilateral, uh, better known as the quad. Uh, four benches apparently taken from the campus, and uh, we got this from Twitter, the four benches thing. That's unconfirmed, but apparently four benches burning, people taking videos of that. No arrests were made, but uh, it was a school-sanctioned event. I don't know if the benches were, but uh, Coach K calling last night's win the best moment of his career. Really special to do it with this group, especially Duke, amazingly, national champions, kind of under the radar this year, even though... You know, they had a great team, but Kentucky kind of getting all the press. Kentucky, you know, they're not doing much right. They're studying right now. That's what they're doing. All right, now to baseball. Opening day for 28 teams yesterday, including the New York Yankees and A-Rod. Alex Rodriguez is back in action. And believe it or not, yesterday he got a standing ovation from fans at Yankee Stadium. How about that? Last night, Alex Rodriguez returned to Yankee Stadium in his now first game right since the suspension that forced him to miss the 2014 the season. A-Rod talked about it after the game. You know, I have a lot of love for um, the city of New York, and especially our fans. But let's make it clear, man, the fans don't owe me anything. You know, part of, I've said all along in spring training, that part of being a rookie, feeling like a rookie, is that uh, I have to earn their cheers and their respect. Hey, my hat's off to you, A-Rod, all right? Everyone deserves a second chance. Rodriguez was suspended 162 games for using steroids. He served his time. He's getting up there in years, too, but not a good night for the Yankees. Uh, after that ovation, the Blue Jays took over the game and, and actually walloped the game. It was 6-1, to one, but really the, the Yankees didn't do anything. It was one home run after another. Off those Yankees, uh, San Francisco beat Arizona 5-4, to four, Oakland over Texas 8 to nothing. Zach Greinke will go for the Dodgers tonight at 7 o'clock in their game against San Diego. Amity?